Hey guys, welcome back to Modern Golf. Hope you guys are having a great day and even better week. Today we're talking about one of the hottest brands in golf footwear. Obviously we had just done a review a few months ago uh, and that's G4. This is the G11112 or whatever the number is on it. G112, um, let's talk about it. familiar with G4. They are one of the hottest brands. Uh, Massimo, their designer, uh, has really kind of cultivated this very fun, preppy, um, kind of punky style, which I love. I adore. I love G4. Um, one of my favorite brands by far in the industry. We had done the new Galavant 2R tour, whatever they're calling it, uh, a couple months ago. And so I got my hands on this colorway and this is the G112 uh, in the snow and charcoal. Just want to kind of real quickly tell you about size, fitting, do I like it, would I recommend it, uh, who's this for, all those good things. So I would be remiss to talk about, and I'll put some pictures up, how dope um, their boxes are. Uh, G4 really knocks it out of the park with the presentation, which for some people you don't care about, for other, others of us, um, you enjoy it. So congrats to G4 on an incredible presentation. Again, the Galavan Tours was a bright pink box. This is a very cool turquoise color box. I like what G4 does. Um, let's talk about this shoe. They call it snow. It's basically white. Um, the charcoal is like a, this is like a, uh, I won't say an ice sole color, but a very, it's a muted, black but it's very clear with a little bit of color accent and the reason i ordered these um, versus the clear ones was two things um, i don't like any golf shoe with a fabric um, what i call a sock liner or a footbed liner because once you get mud on here and it happens uh, we all play i don't play in ideal conditions all the time um, it's very difficult to get out so i like when this is, has a different color in here uh, the other thing I liked besides this was I loved the splash of neon. Um, I just think it's a very cool look. So aesthetically, it's a very cool shoe. It's got a little bit of perforations here. Um, it's got the G4 logo on here on the outsole. Uh, again, this rigid kind of Louboutin-esque uh, for you females out there or men who know anything about fashion, kind of Louboutin-esque with the spikes. Uh, again, we talked about this here. So let's talk about sizing first and foremost, which I think is probably the most important for all of us. Uh, with G4, I find at least their sizing very consistent. Uh, I'm a nine and a half and pretty much all their shoes, Galavanters, the Galavantors, um, these, and any other G4 I've had or have used. Um, I like what G4 does. It fits me very, very well. Uh, a narrow-ish shoe, and this one is a little narrower in the heel um, and kind of opens up. It's a little wider than the Galavanters uh, in the, let's say, the toe box area. I didn't notice any issues with it whatsoever. Um, enjoyed the fit. I will say one thing, when you first put these shoes on, it's like you've owned them for 20 years. Uh, there's very little break in period with these, if at all. The heel to toe transition is phenomenal uh, in these G4s. Really, really, it's like putting on a pair of sneakers. They're it, that good, or a true athletic shoe. Um, what I would say, and this shoe is kind of built off of the stability. I didn't. It's not the most stable shoe. Um, and, and granted, if you look at the shoe, and you can even see, I mean, it's super soft, which is not a bad thing. It's super comfortable. But if you have um, issues with uh, stability, this, I wouldn't say this is the best shoe for you. Um, I like it. I think it's a good stable shoe, but it's not certainly the best or, or class leader uh, for what it is. But so let's walk around the shoe real quick. Uh, we'll go toe box and then work our way around. So toe box has light perforations. I think these are more for decorations. I did not find these to run very hot. Some golf shoes I do. These I didn't find them very true to, you know, where they ran hot. Um, Again, the little G4 logo here, again, the Louboutin, uh, a white, which is easy to clean, which I like, a little bit of perforations here, very, um, how do I put this in a nice way, Common Project-esque um, with the information of the G4 and all that good stuff. Again, the splash of the neon I love. Uh, the outrigger here in the back, which is kind of an interesting thing. I've seen other brands now do it this year, so it's interesting to see. Um, and again, if we turn it, a little bit of ventilation here. Uh, and this little part where it's G4 on this side is covered up. These shoes are very light, uh, not surprisingly, but they're very light. Um, as you'll see here, and I'll put pictures up, all lined here. I love it. Uh, inside the footbed, 
Uh, this is a very soft, so if you're like me and you wear no-show or very low show socks, this uh, does not dig into you um, much. A little bit, but not much. Uh, let's talk about the the main attraction here is the sole. Again, I am, and I've said this a thousand times, I'll say it a thousand more times, I'm not the biggest fan of soft spikes. Um, I like a true, let me dig into the ground uh, with spikes until I can replace them as I go throughout life kind of guy. Um, I definitely like these. Uh, it's I wore these uh, once outside and I think once or twice inside. Um, and it's held up well. Again, time will tell on how this does on a really sloppy wet day, but for what I've done, it's been fine. Um, so again, that's about all I have with these guys. Again, there is a waterproof yeah, so there's a waterproof warranty with these. One last thing before you wrap up, and I'll rip it out here if I can. These shoes have a lower drop. So if you're into that world, uh, like other brands where you want a lower drop uh, from heel to toe, this is one of those. I don't know what their exact measurements are. I don't think they provide them. Um, I didn't really notice it, to be honest with you. I didn't notice a huge difference. Um, a little higher arch, which I like, and you guys can see in the footbed. So I wanted to go over the footbed for two things. One is uh, the arch here, it's good support. But what G4 is kind of known for, if you haven't tried it, these little, um, I don't know what they would call them, massaging little bumps and, and lumps here. Um, very comfortable shoe. I've seen other brands now starting to copy this and mimic this, which is interesting. Um, what I also like what G4 does is you can buy these uh, exact ones to replace them when they wear out in your shoe. Um, for my history of background, for those who don't know, I did a lot of work with some very large athletic brands years ago. And the average shoe, the ad average athletic shoe, if you're wearing it on a regular basis, lasts between six to nine months cushion-wise. So if you're doing nothing else and you have shoes from five years ago, replace these uh, at least once a year and you'll be shocked at how much spring in life the shoe has again. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I like the G4. Um, again, it's just my favorite G4. I like the aesthetic of it a lot. Um, I don't know if it's their best golf shoe. I think it's a fun, casual golf shoe. If I'm playing in a tournament or really it's serious, am I playing this? I don't know. Uh, I, like I said, time will tell. But love the aesthetics. Love what G4 does. Love how this brand has continued to evolve. But again, so this is G4, G112 in the snow and charcoal colorway. Anyway, guys, if you're new here, do me a huge favor. Please subscribe. Uh, if you've been here for 100 years or two days ago, thank you for coming back. I appreciate it. Um, and do us a, a huge favor and hit that like button. And again, as we always say, please let me know what you're interested in seeing, and we will see what we can do uh, to get on the channel and get it reviewed for you. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you soon. Thanks, guys.